I know y'all just saw that workout. I thought the last time I filmed one of the workouts was really long. This workout took me like exactly two hours. Probably a little bit longer because I got to the gym a little bit before six o'clock. Um, and I just now got home and it is 8.40. Let me tell you, I am pooped. I am pooped. That workout... I know I said it last time from my previous workout, but this workout was definitely killer. Um, as y'all saw, I did a lot of like heavy like compound movements. I also did like higher reps and higher sets for them. So it was really exhausting. And I think it took so long too because I needed I needed like extra rest time in between like each set. And regardless, even though I was filming, I think I still would have taken the same amount of time like resting versus like setting up the camera in between like sets and um like my different exercises so it was just exhausting i just haven't done I, I haven't done a workout training split um like this in so long where i'm like really working on like heavy compound lifts so it's just taking a lot out of me and let me tell you this week after monday so i worked out monday and tuesday so wednesday Wednesday, I was so sore. Like, my hamstrings, they felt like, they weren't, they didn't feel like an elongated hamstring anymore. They felt like one, like, ball, like a ball of hamstring because they were so tight. My muscles were so tight. They were spazzing. They were just so sore, and I couldn't hardly, like, bend down. Like, all uh, all this week at the pharmacy, I, I felt like, like an 80-year-old lady, like, trying to bend down. I was like, Ugh, I can't bend down. So, um, yes, and then... Even at nighttime, my legs were like spazzing because they were just so sore. And I actually took off Thursday morning. I was I woke up um, intending to go to the gym, but I just I kind of already had it thought in my in my mind previous night, like Wednesday night, like if I just didn't feel like it on Thursday morning, I was not gonna work out because I was just so sore and so stiff that I was like, well, I guess it's gonna be one of my automated uh, rest days because um, I really have like a five day training split. So technically I could take a rest day any day that I felt like it or I wanted to. And I was thinking that I would just work out Monday through Friday like I normally do and then take Saturday and Sunday off. But I felt like I really needed it uh, Thursday. So I didn't work out Thursday because I was so sore. So I came back today after work fresh, ready to go. But man, did my workout really kill me. I think what the, the really the main thing is, um, the weight that I'm doing is not the heaviest, obviously, that I can lift because I'm able to do multiple reps of it. Um, and it is challenging, but I can do more. And that is the goal is I'm going to increase um, each week on the same lifts that I'm doing. However, my grip strength and my lower back strength, that's what kind of slows me down in my lifts. Um, that's where I feel like I have to like take a pause and kind of reset and um, start my set again because my grip strength just isn't there. I, you know, I'm not used to lifting like heavy weight um, consistently like it, like I'm going to be doing in this training program. So I've really got to build up my grip strength. Um, the calluses on my hands, man, I felt like they were going to rip. I don't know if you can see them. Oh yeah, you can start to see them. They were almost at the ripping point tonight. So, um, and I don't wear like workout gloves or anything. I don't really believe in that. Um, I like my, my mainly callous hands and obviously I can't wear that if I was to do a powerlifting meet anyway. So there's no reason why I need to get reliant on using workout gloves or um, like lifting straps either. You can't use lifting straps during, during a uh, powerlifting meet either. So I don't need to get reliant on any of that. So, um, but yes, I just need to work out my grip strength and my lower back and I think I'll be good. And I didn't film it, but I did do some cardio also, so that also took up a lot of time. I did 20 minutes of HIT cardio on the treadmill. My legs felt like they weighed 100 pounds each because they were so sore from my lifting session. But overall, I loved it. Um, I really enjoyed it. Although, I'm kind of worried about when this workout is going to fall when I have to do this workout in the morning time because I've mentioned this all the time. I hate working out in the morning time. I am just don't, I just don't have that energy in the morning time to work out. I'm just not strong. Even if I've had a, a breakfast or a pre-workout meal, I'm just, my body is just not awake. I, I, I ache. I just don't have the strength there or the energy, the motivation either. So it's really hard for me to lift heavy in the morning. So that'll be um, interesting when that time comes when I have to do like these heavier leg days in the morning time before work. Anyways, um, 
yeah, with that being said, uh, after the workout, I went to Kroger and picked up some sushi. My favorite, like, go-to, just little, you know, treat meal to myself. I am allowed two cheat meals a week in my nutrition plan, which I was, like, shocked. Um, it's, like, laid out as I'm allowed, like, one, like, like real like cheap meal and then allowed like one clean meal so like one clean cheap meal would be like eating like a chipotle bowl or having sushi a sushi roll um you know something along those lines probably like going out to one of my like favorite like healthier fast food places what what are you whining about huh i don't know why slater's whining you have your food what's wrong huh what's wrong buddy I know, I haven't been home all day. I'm here now, though. I'm here now, boo. Anyways, um, what was I saying? You made me lose my train of thought. I don't know what I was saying now. So yes, I'm allowed actually two cheat meals. So I'm kind of deeming this as like my, my cheat meal for the night because usually I would be eating, right now I'd be eating like the salmon, uh, potato, and salad right now. But I ran out of the salmon because I ate it all up this week that I already meal prepped. And I just felt like, you know, having a little treat to myself. It's Friday night. Cody's at work. And um, it's late in the evening on Friday night. So um, I just felt like having some sushi to myself. And with that being said, even though I ha I'm allowed like two cheat meals per week, I'm not a person to really... Um, just because I have the opportunity to have two cheat meals per week, I'm not going to necessarily... Uh, set aside like okay i'm going to have two cheat meals per week i want to save that for if uh we go out to eat or something with friends or if me and cody decide to go like out to eat somewhere or go on a date i want to save like that cheat meal for a time that is probably best for me so that way i can stay on my nutrition plan like 80 90 percent of the week and then um you know if the opportunity comes up where I could have a cheat meal, then I will. Um, or if I feel like I'm just really craving something, then that's when I'll have like a cheat meal or so to speak. So I want to stay on my nutrition plan as much as I can. And I'm pretty good about doing that. I'm usually, I like structure and um, I usually stay on my nutrition plan on point all during the week. It's when the weekend when I'm more flexible with my time if I'm not working, that's when I kind of like play around with my food a little bit. So I'll probably just save like the weekend for um, like one or two cheat meals then. So anyways, with that being said, I have been talking for almost eight minutes, just rambling on. Um, yeah, that's really it. I'm going to eat, shower, and probably just go to bed and relax because I'm sore. Um, I'm tired from work all this week. I'm tired from my workout and I'm sore. I just need to relax. And tomorrow, I think me and Cody are going to go float the river in Wetumpka, Alabama tomorrow with some friends. So that's going to be a fun little adventure tomorrow. So I hope y'all are excited about um, this new training program with me as much as I am. And I hope y'all are enjoying these videos. If there's anything in particular that like y'all want to see, um, please let me know. I'm just going to kind of be filming like randomly and just filming some of my workouts and just kind of talking about what um, my training program is. <sighs> Anyways, so I'll just catch y'all in the next clip. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend and I'll see y'all next one. Bye y'all.